yeah, I just heard it as I was leaving the bus that there were going to be some changes. And then when I got here, I heard from a few more people that they were going to push the start back a few hours. Um, sounds like we might do a, uh, a loop around this town, around the start village, and then uh, maybe start down the road a little ways. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to throw everybody off a little bit. Um, I fueled for a 200K stage today, so I don't know what to do with, uh, with my meals now. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I guess it's going to be a shortened stage. It's going to be probably very explosive. The last 70k are, you know, twisty roads and a lot of opportunities for attacks. So yeah, maybe in the end it could create a exciting race for the fans. Um, but yeah, for me, just feeling the wind right now, it doesn't feel super crazy. Um, maybe on the tops of the climbs, it's a different story. I guess that's why they're they're shortening it because it sounds like the tops of the climbs are um, potentially dangerous. Um, yeah, right now I don't I don't feel too much. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm wondering why they are shortening it or making such a drastic change. But um, yeah, I guess they have more information than I do. And well, it, we've got three hard days now, three mountainous days. We thought that today might be quite a good one for you. Does it make it less favourable now for a rider like you? Um, yeah, probably. I think a harder stage would have would have suited me better, a uh, longer stage. So yeah, I mean, there's still definitely going to be some opportunities. The climbs are hard, they're steep, um, and you still have to be in position for them. Even just being out of position could um, could uh, lose you the race. So. It'll still be an exciting stage. Um, I'll still give it my best. I think today is uh, the best opportunity I have of, um, of, of winning, uh, as well as Magnus today. We have two really good cards to play. So um, yeah, we'll have to talk about the strategy now. It's gonna change a little bit from what we had planned in the morning, but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be exciting. Today would have been your best opportunity, you said. Yeah, given the current situation I have, if I go into the final stage with the same time I have right now, I, I doubt I would be allowed to get up the road. So um, today was going to be a really good opportunity. Um, even if not for a stage win, if you know if there's a breakaway up the road, then um, then yeah, the just gaining some time in GC or just racing well from the favorites group. Um, I feel like I can compete with anybody on a course like today. So it would have been a nice a nice opportunity if it was even harder. Um, oh. But uh, yeah, hopefully some opportunities will still present themselves. How do you see this GC battle now with uh, Gadu up there? You saw him yesterday going off for those bonus seconds. Also Mateo, who's right there in the classification next to you. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, Mateo's obviously on super good form. I mean, he had a he sprinted from a long way out, maybe a little bit too early, but he had a really good punch on him. So um, yeah, I'm re I'm really interested to see how how he performs later in the next few days. Um, but yeah, the battle between Godu and, and Tade, it's it's pretty exciting. I think uh, Godu's on super form, and it's been um, yeah, it's not so often that a rider can finish so so close with Tade, so it's going to be exciting. Um, those two will definitely be dishing it out to each other in the last two stages. So yeah, I think it's up to the rest of the GC riders to kind of play off of what they're doing, and yeah, maybe there's going to be an opportunity from those two fighting it out. Um, but time will tell. <laughs> we'll look for you up there too. Thank you, Nilsson. Yeah.